try to figure Excuse out. I'm like, I'm gonna moan you. Is that okay? Not a moon. No you lock me up? Mm, possibly. I gotta let it slip tonight. You got the camera rolling? You ready? <laughs> really couldn't tell whether he was serious or not. Usually you can. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Hold this for a second. Uh -oh. Don't be mooning. You got it rolling? Don't moon. <laughs> Is this going to be on national TV? Don't moon. It's not going to be good because you got everybody scared. You're going to lock up one like a guy. <laughs> You ready? No, don't do it. I was kind of concerned <laughs> what he was going to do to the camera. And, you know, I'm trying to talk him out of it because, again, I didn't know which way he was going to go with that. Don't do it. <laughs> I know. I know. You, you never know with some people, though. What's a little tush between friends? <laughs> What's a little tush? What's a little tush between friends? <laughs> I don't know that everybody appreciates that though. <laughs> hey, if I drop my drawers, they, ten people would fight to take me home. Oh, is that what it is? <laughs> <laughs> would you? Yeah, look at this. <laughs> Even with pants on. <laughs> Even with pants on. Hey, it's sweet. There you go. Yeah, that's kind of a interesting part of work is the different characters that are downtown. <laughs> Every now and then we have somebody that uh, either is um, jumps in the river or they're going to threaten to jump in the river. So anyone, I'm en route. Can you just give me the nature of the call? Just with the winter, we've had several people that have uh, threatened to jump in the river or who have jumped in the river. If you love your community, if you love women from North Carolina, then come help protect it. Do you want to sit in a lab, sit at the desk, or you want to be on the streets helping people, uh, making an active difference? Every single instructor I've met or officer I've met has been really honest in what the community has to offer and, and how they love their job and what they do. And if this is something you want to do, this is the best place to do it. The Wilmington Police Department is now hiring. For more information, visit us at PortCityBlues.com. Apply for a job at the Wilmington Police Department. It is truly a calling. The Wilmington Police Department. It's not a job. It's a calling. Is there an EMS that can be en route to stand by in case he does jump in the river? Do what? Yeah, let's block it off. This guy is just having 
something going on in his life that he feels like, you know, this is the end. Do what? Didn't you call fire? We'll just let them know what we have. Okay. The deputy and the downtown task force kind of jumped in pretty quickly. I didn't want to jump in because I didn't want to agitate him. He was getting agitated pretty easily. So as long as the officers and the deputies were handling it, you know, I'm, let them continue to handle that. AJ, tell them to shut their mouths, please. They're, ta they're chanting jump. The ones by the, check with the cars. Yeah, the ones by the car. I think the reason why I'm so sensitive to that is um, we had another person that was, uh, com you know, threatening suicide downtown. I was not downtown at the time. And I remember the officers telling me that there were people that were yelling at the guy to jump, go ahead and jump. And I think that kind of stuck with me because it is insensitive. I mean, you have somebody that is in a bad place in their life that feels like the only answer is to end their life. And then you've got intoxicated people or not intoxicated people telling them, go ahead and jump. And I think they were even talking about what kind of dive to do into the river. And I'm like, I don't need him listening to that because he's already on the edge. So I try to get an officer over there to tell them that they need to do, be quiet because it was, in, it was insensitive and it wasn't appropriate. And we're trying to get him to the hospital and not having somebody egging him on to jump in the river. Does anyone advise fire needs to stand by? We've got one coming down uh, Front Street. Correction, Water Street. It's a matter of talking to them and letting them know that this is not the answer and trying to get them to realize that maybe they could get some help rather than ending their life. You know, the deputy and the officer did a great job talking them into going to the hospital, which is where he went. Growing up in the 70s, there was a show on television, and that show was the only show that had a policewoman that looked like me. I worked as a police cadet until I was old enough to apply for a police officer. Working at the Wilmington Police Department has afforded me opportunities that I do not think I would have gotten anywhere else. As police officers, when we take our oath and make a promise to protect and serve, that does not automatically turn us into robots. It does not automatically make us heartless individuals. We are individuals with families that love us. We love them. We are human. We care. We love. And we hurt. I just love downtown. The people down there are great. You get two different crowds. You got the dinner crowd and the family crowd up until about 10, and then you get the bar crowd coming in at 11. I just love the atmosphere downtown. You, can, you talk to people on a daily basis and walk, get a lot of exercise. So I, I do miss that.
Are you having a good evening? I am. I am. Yes, yes. Every evening. Yes, Every you Exactly. So. <laughs> Have a good night. Heading back to my car. Thank you.